gang, what's up? We're playing Final Fantasy XII the Zodiac Age on live stream. Uh, this is one of my favorite games of all time, in fact, and I don't know if it'll come out on camera, kind of there. You can see I have a tattoo of Final Fantasy XII. I love this game. Uh, let's go with a new game. Vibration on, screen shake off, subtitles on, camera normal, normal. I might have to switch those. Speed multiplier, we'll keep it as two. Language English, music goes re orchestrated. As always, we'll turn the music down a little bit. And game. Haven't played in. Uh, Five years? Six years? It's probably been six years since the last time I played Call Basketball. And I certainly have never been to the game before. So that'll be fun. Year 704, Old Valendian, Kingdom of Damascus, the royal city of Rabanaster. of these holy relics, I hereby pronounce you man and wife from this time forth. May the blessings of the gods light your path for all eternity. Faram. 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 Oh, yeah. Nabodis has fallen. Impossible! My father? I know not. I am sorry. If Nabodis has indeed fallen, it is only a matter of time before they reach the borders of Dalmasca. There is nothing to halt their advance. Hmm. Secure Nalbana with all haste. I will go. And I will go at his side. Considered worthy. Yeah. 
sure is you got fucked. Dad, I wish you could ride sure the whole fight in this game. That would be so cool. The fortress is lost. We must withdraw. No! The paling still stands. They're failing light. Sumi Matsuno he made this game and he made Final Fantasy Blessings Tactics. Great and I love those two games. And guide your bodies return to the earth. Great Father, guide your spirits return to the mother of all. Even her funeral outfit's pretty mind. sexy. Ash, Fine. what happened? Wrong. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmasca had been set adrift. The death of Lord Rasla Heos Nabradia was but one of many tragedies to befall the Kingdom of Dalmasca. The air of hope that had surrounded Her Royal Highness Princess Asha's wedding was now quite lost. Dalmasca had been set adrift at the mercy of history's restless tides. At this time, two great empires struggled for dominion over Ivalis. Arcadia in the east, Rosaria the west. The invasion of the kingdom of Nebradia was Arcadia's first step in its westward march. With Lord Rosla's beloved homeland consumed by the hellfires of war, it seemed clear that Arcadia would soon meet out a like fate to Dalmasca. The fall of the fortress at Nalbana told the destruction of the greater part of Dalmasca's forces. A counterattack was mounted by the order of the Knights of Dalmasca, ever brave and faithful. But against the martial might of the Arcadian armies, they stood little chance of victory. Indeed, their defeat was to be absolute. Soon thereafter, Arcadia came forward, offering terms of peace, or as one might rather put it, Tons of Dalmasca surrender. Lord Romanos, King of Dalmasca, and my dear friend, had no choice but to accept these terms. It was, thus, only with reluctance that he set out for Nalbana Fortress, now under Arcadian occupation, to affix his seal to the Emperor's Treaty of Peace. The King had scarce departed his royal city of Rabanasta, when the remnants of the Order made their return, and not a moment too soon, for a terrible revelation awaited them. The treaty would be signed with steel and writ in royal blood. Chapter 12 of The Fall of Kingdoms. I'd love to read the full book that, that, that the Marquis Elmdor. Omdor? Can you hear me? 
Marquis Omdor. <laughs> it's as I feared. They're slowing us down. Do not say that. Not all of us are here for love of battle. He <laughs> fights to defend his homeland. <laughs> Your name? Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Good. Rex. You bore a few cuts, but you are still whole. Well, can you stand? <clears throat> now the fortress, North War. Think you can fight? I'm fine, sir. How old are you, Rex? Seventeen, sir. Young. Family? My brother is all I have left, sir. He's two years younger than I, living in Rabanaster. So young. You're barely old enough to be a man. You shouldn't be forced to wield a sword. No, sir. I want to fight. For my homeland. And for my parents. It's time, Bosch. Save the discussion for later. We must reach the king before they act, or all our efforts will be in vain. I'm aware of the situation. We found them! Over there! Vossler, go ahead. I will handle this rabble. Vossler is also my boy Nathan Drake. Godspeed. Bosh, kick in some ass. <sighs> Steady, Rex. <laughs> Keep your wits about you and you'll make it. We move! Alright. The story begins. You must always be mindful of your surroundings. Use the right stick to look around. It's a way to spot Imperials. Go on, give it a try. Alright. Okay, and the camera does what I want it to do. Use the left stick to move Rex, tilt it slowly for, to walk further around. You walk, yes, come stand before me. So that's walking. That's running. You see the marker above my head? It's a talk icon. You can talk to any character showing one of these. Talk to someone, approach them, press X. Go talk to that dude, press X. That's terrible armor. Like, Rex's is only slightly better. <laughs> Life is worth too much to throw away. Do what you can. Don't be a hero. Save the hero stories for your brother. When we're back, just listen to the captain. We'll get through this. Go to the fortress through this gate. Let's go. See the marker above your head? It's an action icon. Press X to get shit done. Go kill some dudes, more or less. Wow, that shitty background texture. You can open the party menu, press triangle, check your equipment and inventory. Oh, but well, first we fight. That red line is a target. Means you're being targeted, blue is some other shit. Blah blah blah, none of this is important. Oh man, okay, status, inventory. She's right in my face. <laughs> yeah, out of here, guys. Crutch. <laughs> Where are we? We're over here. Oh, the 
map, that's new. Captain? map at the top right of your screen may not be enough to get your bearings. A location map by hitting the touchpad. Pressing the L3 button will also see the location map. So there's the map. Or I could do this. Oh, I think I've activated uh, quick speed. Perhaps. Bossler! Look at that character. That guy was evil. Where are you? What if Captain Azalus has fallen? Don't talk such nonsense. Vosla's laughed in the face of death far too many times for him to stop now. Men like him don't die in places like this. We must make haste to reach the king. We will take him to safety. Is his majesty unharmed? He'll agree to an unconditional surrender. They wouldn't dare touch him until the wax on his seal is dry. But if we arrive after he signed the treaty... Wait. Quickly, Rex! <laughs> we got some axe to kick. Okay, let's not go back. There was an enemy, but... I have no idea how I turned it on. And I have no idea how to turn it off. Press R2 if you want to run. Oh, there's a mage. Yeah, 
still, Rex. Get a potion. No, I seriously don't, uh... Turn it on and I don't know how to turn it off. I don't know how to turn off speed mode. Created my first save file. Hells yeah. turn it on and off. I turned it off and then I turned it back on. You must go to the king. I'll handle these. Fight well. Oh, he one shot him. Oh, 
all dead. The king intended all along to sell Damascus to the Empire. His Majesty was a traitor. Captain, I... Seize the insurgents! Hello! <laughs> well, so much for peaceful negotiations. We'll never surrender to you. We are not cattle to be sold by a traitor king. But the war is over, my dear captain. You have lost. Dalmasca is the property of the Empire now. And think, we intended to let you keep some of your sovereignty. Out of respect. But now you've gone and ruined that. Haven't you, captain? We will never bow to you. And the people of Dalmasca will hate you for it. Take the captain away. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> hey, Sophie, beat the tutorial. Not bad, not bad. Vaughn! Pretenses of peace left by the wayside. The Arcadian forces resumed their advance toward Ravanasta. Dalmasca's doom had been decided. To make resistance would serve no end. With this foremost in my thoughts, I to the people of Dalmasca. Sons and daughters of Dalmasca, I bid you lay down your arms, raise songs of prayer in their stead. Prayer for His Majesty King Raminas, ever merciful, a man devoted wholly to peace. Prayer too for the noble Princess Ash, who, wrought with grief at her kingdom's defeat, has taken her own life. Know also that Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg, for incitement of sedition and the assassination of His Royal Majesty King Ramanos, has been found guilty of high treason and put to his death. They who at this late hour choose still the sword are cut of the same cloth as the captain. Traitors who would lead Dalmasca to her ruin. Dalmasca's surrender without terms was soon to follow. So I looked up how to turn off speed mode and they say it's L1, but it wasn't working for me. Let's see if it works now. Kill some rats. Vaughn! Hurry it up or they'll find us! I know, I know. Just a little more. You keep an eye out for me up there, kites. Kites. One, two, three more. Alright. Time to clean house. Okay, it is all. Oh, that's the close to the 
good steal. something big comes along. Hey, it's good practice for the desert. I'm ready for anything now. That's enough for today. You should get back to Miguel's place, Kites. Aren't you running errands for him? Oops. <laughs> totally forgot. Get out of here, Kites. You should come, Vaughn. He's busy today. Might have some work for you to do, too. I've got other, um, work to do. Hey, lock this place up for me, will you? If Miguel finds out we've been down here, he'll tan our hides. Kites, you gotta get out of here. But before you get out of here, clean up my shit. Poor sod, B. We don't want trouble today. Your luck, peddler. Oops, sorry. Which way you're going, churl? What? My pouch! It's gone! The boy! Get out the way! Because I practiced stealing from the rats. So he thought he could steal from the guards. <sighs> what? Hey, that's mine. What do you mean, yours? You've been stealing again. What happens if they catch you? We need you to be there for us, Vaughn. You're no good to anyone if you're locked away in a dungeon. Oh, what? Am I the leader now? We're orphans. The first thing you learn is you gotta watch out for yourself. Come on, Pinello. You know it as well as I do. Hey, you give that back. What do you think you're doing? I thought that this money was the people of Dalmasca's property. The Imperials stole it from us, so it's only fair that we take it back. It's our duty as Dalmascans. Well, wasn't that what you said? Yeah, but I never said anything about taking it back from me. This is for that bread you took the other day. Just because I help Miguelo out every now and then, it doesn't mean that you get to eat for free too, you know. I know that. You think I like living like this? Someday I'm gonna thieve on the next level. I'm gonna steal from airships. One of these days, I'll fly an airship of my own. That I stole. I'll be a sky pirate, free to go where I will. Well, be careful. You'll never fly anything if you're riding in a dungeon. <laughs> oh, Miguelo had some errands that need doing. He wanted you to drop by his place. It might be a good idea to lend a hand. You sound like kites.
Stop on, I was waiting. Penella said you needed something? You. Uh, had me some packages supposed to be arriving by courier. In the morning, uh, perhaps he ran into some trouble on the desert. Now I've no foodstuffs to prepare for the banquet tonight. So you want me to find this courier? Hey, no problem. No problem? The desert team's in trouble. I'd be sending you to early grave, my boy. No, I've arranged for some replacement goods from Tomage over at the Sand Sea. So, you want me to go to the tavern to pick him up? Actually, I asked Kipes to do that. Wouldn't you know he's gone missing on me, too? Uh -uh. I can't leave my shop and knife Pinello on another chore at the moment, you see. What I want you to do is run over to the Sand Sea and fetch Kipes back. <laughs> what do you say? Ugh, sounds wild. It's easy work, and you'll thank me for it someday. As we run through the fetch quest number one. There you are, Kites. Stop loafing around. Look, Vaughn, look! This is mm. it! This is why Miguelo's courier didn't get here on time. A creature spotted in the ester sand. What is that thing? Ah, Vaughn! Miguelo sent you too, did he? He's a busy man these days, that Miguelo, if I dare say so myself. I don't envy him the work, though. Not a bit. Quite the affair throwing a banquet to welcome the Imperials, eh? Welcoming? We should be... <sighs> whatever. Say, Tomaj, what's this? Nah, don't remind me. Got some nastiness out there in the Ester Sand what's stopping our couriers. And that means shortages all around. Thought I'd put up a bill, offer a reward to anyone who can knock that nasty back in its place. Hmm. Now that's work. Sounds ten times better than running errands for Miguelo. That's right! Vaughn, you should give it a shot! And you should be getting back to Miguelo. Now, Kites. He was waiting for you. Oh, right, right. You bastard, Kites. If I never see you again, I'll be happy. I don't think you do. Alright, now they just talk to me about uh, the ship. Hunts, here's how you get hunts, blah blah blah. So now he's given me all the stuff that I need to play the game. Gotta give him a license board. You must choose a license board in order to obtain licenses. There are 12 boards each allowing you to develop a character with unique abilities. Once you choose a board, it cannot be changed. Warriors will fight nimbly across the hill and dale daggers. Sword masters. Fire from the age of archer. Foe breaker. Axes and hammers. So maybe. Battle mage. Monk. Knight monk. Uh, maybe monk. Because I, I hate him, so I want to give him something I won't use. Guns. I definitely won't use this one a lot. So he can get that one. Accessories. 
one for five LP. God damn. Twenty-five LP. God damn. All right. Now you can start putting this shit gun. Dagger, cause why not? And now this, his defense goes up by one, and his HP goes up by 25, which isn't bad actually. All right, Vaughn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my world map. I don't care. And the clan primer. Hunt is actually kind of useful. That's the one. Dairy, dire rat, traveler's tip. Oh my god. Never gonna read any of that shit. Alright. Now I need to exit into the world. Let's see some papers, boy. No public passage on account of the Lord Consul's parade. Oh, gee, that's too bad. You see, it just so happens that your provisioner for the fate tonight, he sent me to pick up a few choice morsels for the, uh, Consul's dining pleasure. He wants them quick. I got the writ of transit right here. You see? Signed. Magello. I just hate to see the Consul upset because his food wasn't ready on time. And I sure hate to see him take it out on you. The Lord Consul is a great man, and no great one man. to take offense in such uh, trifling matters. I don't know if this dialogue uh, works better in Japanese. Line. Wouldn't do to keep the Consul waiting. In English, right. it's uh, a terrible after conversation. This. out into the ester sand and we grind one time the first time I was playing Final Fantasy 12 two of my buddies came over to my house and I was just kind of grinding and uh, they were like Jay let's, you know, let's hang out and I was like guys just let me get to a safe file because I'm grinding and then ever since then every single time I would hang out with them or see them we lived together for a while also every single time um, it would be like, Jay's grinding. Did I steal something? I did. Alright, we're stealing up a storm. 
get it in the news. the game, you had to be careful about which chests you open to get the ultimate weapon. They did away with that. Uh, steal from the wolf. Oh my god. He's gonna fuck me, isn't it? Did I steal? I think I stole. Man, I gotta put the camera down at the bottom. Kill his fucking tomato. Take care of this little fucking... Oh, he's full health. Albano lilies? Never thought I'd see him growing out here. Ugh. Hey, second trophy. This will make a nice Did souvenir. My first hunt and got Time to call it a day. The, tr the flower. I think it's time to call it a day. But I think it's time to kill more wolves. 71. Ha. 
Six gill. Gotta fight the camera a little bit. Actually, sounds like a good idea. Avoid the wild Sauron, which also isn't killing the wolves. small town. More gill. What the fuck is that? One gill. <laughs> is that another one gill? Five gill. Shokubo, but they won't let you go. No one's allowed through unless they're on official business. So they block off this part of the game. Firefly. Get the fuck out of here.
Dentro. The shops aren't open? Damn it, I thought I was gonna sell something. Instead I got like maybe 20 gil. One zone is enough for enemies to respawn. I don't think. I could be wrong though. Alright. place for me to put my face. If I put it down there, I won't be able to see that menu. Put it up there, it blocks the combat log. Yeah. Okay, the level. That's why I did it. Grinding the level 3. Run back and forth and farm that chest. Cool. Alright, we got the level three. Twenty-nine LP. He cannot buy his first gun. He can buy upgraded gear. He can up oh, the better accessory. What was the firefly? I, I saw I picked it up. Uh, reduces XP earned to zero. So if you want to play a no level game, that's the one you would put on. Yeah, 
we'll save. Yeah, we'll save. Erstwhile adventurers. Everything's locked out. You little shit. Stand back there. Bang! This gate's closed until the ceremony's over, do you hear? Uh, now what? Huh? Open the gate! Alright, out the way. Wait a second. How come you let these chocobos through the gate and not us? What of it? This is a pedigreed parader, boy. Cost tens of thousands of gil, this one did. A prettier price than a hundred of you provincials would fetch. <sighs> Keep your distance. We don't want the chocobo sticking a peasant. <laughs> What'd you say? Step aside. <sighs> right then, move them in. Oh. My flowers, new. <sighs> that does it. Ho oh, ho ho, a fine, fine chocobo you have there. Yes, uh, see the down stock if I'm not mistaken. Change the soil, change the chocobo, am I right? Yes, yes, different soil means different bouquet too. Take a Damascus Moreau's wine. Eh? It may lack the flavor and depth of some of your Arcadian wines, but it has a certain strength of character. <laughs> it's not bad, really, once you get used to it. Care for some, sirs? There's more than enough for all to cool their throats, of course. You let these carts through them and close this gate is ordered. My mail's choked with this sand. Don't give me a scare like that. <laughs> You're lucky that ended where it did. Right. Now's our chance to go through. Ah, the ceremony will be starting soon. I'd best be hurrying. Okay, well... <sighs> Vaughn, wait! What is it? Vaughn! I give you your new consul, His Imperial Highness Lord Vane Solidor, Commandant of the Arcadian Empire's Western Arm... Your Excellency! People of Rabanasta, is it with hatred you look upon your consul? With hatred, you look upon the Empire. Spit on your head! Straight back to Arcadia! There was little point in asking. But know this. I harbor no idle hopes of frustrating that hatred. Nor shall I ask your fealty. That is the due of your fallen king, and rightly so. King Ramanas loved his people. 
strove to bring you peace. His was a rule worthy of your devotion. Even now, he remains among you, protecting you. His ardor for the peace and will of Dalmasca falters not. I would ask only that you do your king honor. Together, let us embrace the peace His Majesty would surely desire. Two years now divide us from war's bitter end, yet still its shadow looms over all, stifling the infant peace, a pall only you may cast off. Achieve but this one thing, and your hatred of me and of the Empire will grieve me not. I will stand fast. I will endure your hatred, suffer your slings and arrows. I will defend Dalmasca. Here I will pay my debt. I swear it now. Though King Ramanas and Lady Ash be gone, they stand ever at the side of their people. In honoring peace, you do honor to their memory and to Dalmasca. What I ask, I ask plain. My hopes now rest with you. Is Rabanaster to your liking, my lord? It is magnificent. Take this cathedral, for instance. Elegant, yet whimsical in its execution. A stunning example of Galtean architecture. I hope Lord Gramus might one day look upon it himself. Oh, and then the last one? We're all like this. The patron of this evening's banquet, may it please your excellency. Gallo, your highness. Uh, it is truly a profound honor to uh, make the acquaintance of our uh, the future emperor, highness. The, the people of Rabinaster join me in welcoming That's you. That's enough of highness. Though indeed I am our emperor's son, I am no prince. Arcadia's emperor is freely chosen by her people. I am but an elected official and nothing more. I... I meant no disrespect. Now that I think on it, I would not have you address me as Lord Consul, for that matter. No? Henceforth, I am a citizen of Rabanaster. Why don't you call me vain? Eh, I could not. That would not be right. You are overly fond of formalities. I have just the remedy for that. Tonight you will join me, and we shall drink until you call me by name. Mm. How can he stand to bow to him like that? Fawn, you just do not get it, do you? He's not doing it because he wants to. You know what would happen if he didn't. I know, it's just... So, what would you do different? I don't know. Well... I'd do something. You little bitch. Vaughn. Vaughn. Vaughn, you haven't heard a single word I've said, have you? This place has changed so much. It's like it's not even Rabanaster anymore. Like the Empire is swallowing it whole. Some shit going down hey, Penel, outside my house. That fate tonight. You think they'll let us in? Are you crazy? It's in the palace, and we don't have an invitation if you hadn't noticed. So, how are we getting in? As if I'd know. Why not ask Magello to get you in? Or go see old Dallin in Lowtown? Why the sudden interest, Vaughn? I told you. I'm going to take back what's ours. Give back to Dalmasca. Come on. What do you think? If I find something, and it fetches a good price, how about I, uh, I buy you all dinner? Oh, please. You know as well as I do, the first thing you'd buy is an airship. All hail Vaughn, Sky Pirate of Damasca. It's got a nice ring to it. Stay out of trouble.
Hmm. An airship. I don't know. Maybe. But not through Magello. Time to pay old Dallin a visit. Downtown Montreal tonight. instead of uh, one for 60. Seems like a good deal. Get some eye drops. We'll get the potion pack. And then I guess I'll get the surcoat. Chromed leather. Light armor too. I should sell the firefly because I'm never gonna use it. Reduce experience earned to zero. Get out of here, I don't want you. Onion bolts. leathers, but I want to save it up so he can get his first gun. Oh, what the fuck? There was more? It's down here. Steel. Oh yeah, so he comes with steel. Gotta have it. Oh, he can use the scales. The scales are, the scales are jokes, because they have like no hits, but they have things on impact, so there's like protect, and you can just go around like slapping, go around slapping your own teammates. Thief's Cuffs. Yeah. I'm gonna need that. There you go, that's what I want. Let's put this there. Where am I, uh, where am I trying to go? Dollar. down. Uh, who's that guy? Who 
little curious though. What is uh what's going on over here? Oh, I should also totally go cash in that hunt, shouldn't I? Shouldn't I? Turns out it was nothing. Onion bombs. Ugh. Antidote. Yeah, I guess I'll pick up a couple of those. He's on onion balls. Ah, I guess I'll buy one. Just in case. This game's gonna force me to use them, unlike the last game. Where you never use them. Never use them because they suck. the entire map. I still think you get a trophy for exploring the entire map. Ah, if it isn't Van Ratsbane. Come for a tip on how to skewer something bigger and in armor by the East Gate? What? You already heard about that? Wise I may not be, but well informed I am. They'll get what's coming to them someday, believe me. But that's not why I'm here. Do tell. I want to know how to sneak into the palace. They've got to have some great stuff in there. Thought I'd partake. <laughs> Not one do mince words, are you, boy? The Empire protects all that's hers, and that means the palace and all the treasures inside. That's why I'm gonna do it. To take back what's ours. So, our champion of the sewers aspires to noble action. Admirable. Perhaps I can help you. Ah. Now that I think on it, there was a rumor. Yes, a secret passageway into the palace walls, a door, and a magic stone that opens the way. That's it. This is exactly why I came to talk to you first, Alan. So where's this uh, magic stone? Uh, oh, I've had it for years, if I can remember where I've tucked it away. So I gotta get a sunstone. Gotta go to the Keys of Plains, get a sunstone.
so far so good, I have to say. Although I think I'm about to get Panello. It'd be nice. I only meet up with her when I get to the village. I feel like she joins my party sooner rather than later. Sometimes these guys cast cure on you. Sometimes. I explore everywhere? I spent a hundred on it, and it's two hundred in this store, so there it is. Oh man, Libra, that would be nice, actually. That. And then Libra the license. And then our first spells, also. You know what, Cure, probably a good one to have. Fire. Just spend all the money. 
money while I'm here. Alright. I've got the money, spend the money. Right? An adventure building game. That's what they say. What the... Would I like to buy a map? Hells yeah! And now when I do this... Way bigger, and I can see all of it. Cool. Alright, she's my quest giver. Now I'll hear your offer. Shut up. Find your little kid? God damn it. Oh, Pinello. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same, though the answer is pretty clear. No good. What? I'm being good. Hmm. Is that right? So, then you wouldn't mind if I, say, tagged along, would you? Huh? Oh, don't worry. Miguel is busy with preparations for the fade up at the palace. Why, I'm free for the whole day. Well, let's get going. Hmm. There you go. And he can learn that. Oh yeah, and now he can equip it. What? He can't equip it? Attack goes way down. <laughs> what? Hey, can I bought it? before she learns bows one. And I just don't understand why Altair doesn't have DLP for Capella and Vega. But it won't let me equip the Altair. It's like I bought it too early or some shit. Right over here. Sure enough. 
Save over. Hmm. All right. We'll do that one. Oh, one of them was an auto save. That's what that was. So it loads up that file. I wonder if it'll let me equip the gun in here. So we load up that save file, and now I'm in trial mode. There's a hundred stages in trial mode. No, it just won't let me equip it. Now if I go back in here, hold on, if I go back in, I don't have the 
the diamond, the diamond armlet. All right. If I tr if I load that, maybe if I load that. Yeah, we load that. Okay, so I load that one, and she's dead. And now, I have two Phoenix Downs. And the Diamond Armlet, which we can't equip. And it gives you better things when you open chests. Or a better chance. So, and then you save over. So we got all the experience and all that fun stuff that we got from that. Plus the diamond armlet which we'll need at some point, I'm sure. Excuse me. All right, so I need to go to all these different sun fucking... There are different sun things, like you see in the background over there is that flashy sun thing. So my cat just woke up because I sneezed. Uh, I gotta go to those things. I gotta find my way to those. So I guess we'll start by going this way. More Phoenix Downs and some potions. Gambits, all right. We can turn gambits on now. You're ready to go. So ready to go. Find that little bastard kid. Are you gonna let me equip my goddamn gun? You won't. You won't. Where's Gambits? He said Gambits was added. You lied to me. You totally lied to me. Scare on me, buddy? Buddy? Want to cast care? No, buddy? Who's one of those? 
both potions vanilla. Cat is uh, enamored. Enamored with what's going on on screen. Yeah. Bastard kid first. Finn? Is that his name? That's how things connect. That's how you can farm a chest for a guild. 
Really? You're just gonna let me do that game? You are. Diminishing returns. me out some more. Oh, I can't even, I can't even target him. He won't even let me target him. Alright, buddy. Thanks for the protect. See you around somehow. Space cowboy. Save. We'll save. Now, as annoying as this fucking thing is, you gotta run up, and it's random how much of a percentage you get. Random. That's not bad, but it drains. As I walk around, it's gonna drain. So you gotta like... Dark 
Percentage doesn't seem to be dropping, so maybe I just misremember how the, uh, the mini game works. Speed run, I'd be like, oh shit, the god run. Jump that short ravine. 
was already here. or some shit and make me go find another one. You know that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. Just won't let me yeah. steal from this. Yeah. Yeah. No levels. Ether. Hello, rabbit. Also got fucked up by the werewolves, kid. Don't feel bad. It's not just you. It's not just you. Bye, little idiot. Teleport stones. Hey, life is good. Because I didn't have fucking onion shot. Hmm. Oh. Well, I mean, first day kind of sucks. Dark. Seems strong. an onion shot.
Come on, you got your fucking gun. So now we're just supposed to make our way back, I think, to, uh, to the city. I feel like... We're playing two hours. Two hours. Oh, I don't know where I want to go. Well... Damage is good, I guess. It's hard to tell. What the fuck? Wild snake. the trophy, I don't know what it was, but I got it. Super Striker is what it called. I don't know, it's like for attacking a whole bunch. Oh, I tamed blind. That's cool. I don't have to buy it. I'm happy I came adventuring this way. again. Nope, a completely new place. The Wester Sand, instead of the Ester Sand. Alright, just getting the map all set up. Straight up. 
First, I'll kill all these guys. Explored the map. Good spot. You want to hear me, buddy? No? You want to heal? If you don't want to heal, then I want to kill you. the party and that'll be that
feel like that's probably a good place to cut it. So we'll focus on Vaughn in the middle of the screen. And that'll be it. That was episode one of J. Clay's Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age. I want to thank everybody for watching. Stop broadcast.